Welcome to another in our series of Devotions for Lent, brought to you with the compliments of this local preacher's department and the circuit children, youth, and young adults commissions. I am Malia Connell. And I am Zania Connell. Your presenters sharing today's meditation entitled Repentance Slash Obstacles, written by Brother Stephen Morland. Our topic today is Repentance Slash Obstacles, and our theme is Spiritual Growth. Repentance is the prerequisite to spiritual growth, the acknowledgement of our sins, confessing them to God, and acceptance of His forgiveness. The Bible text comes to us from John chapter 3, verses 4 to 8, and my co-presenter Zania will be reading it. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb? and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and without is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I say to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Now it's time for the meditation. Tonight, Jesus is visited by Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, a Pharisee who asked him a very important question. Nicodemus said that no one could help being impressed with the signs and wonders that he, Jesus, did. Jesus' response is that one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above, that is, being born from the Spirit. Nicodemus is confused and he asks, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can they enter a second time in their mother's womb and be born? Jesus used the analogy of the wind. We hear, see, and feel the wind. We do not know where it came from or where it is going. Like the Holy Spirit, we can see the results of it. More so, we witness the effects and the changes the Holy Spirit makes in people's lives. None of us can disregard a faith which makes bad people good, enabling us to repent. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, As we move toward spiritual growth, we are sorry for our sins and for our wrongdoings. Amen. I pray that this meditation blesses your heart as we journey in faith. Please share this meditation with family and friends and join us tomorrow for another daily meditation.